Hi everyone, this is Vivi. Hopefully you are enjoying the spring weather so far. Here in Nova Scotia, you can start seeing the little flowers popping out the ground now and the temperature is this week, especially is so sunny and it's around 10 degrees, so it's super nice. It's nice to finally have warm weather again. So I do have some updates about my life that I want to share with everyone here. Um, first of all, I want to give you some updates about my chronic hive situation. And I am happy to say that I have been free of medication for hive for the last four months. I waited for several months to make sure that I really know it that I don't take medication anymore um, to finally say this so I'm pretty proud of myself <laughs> for um, finally overcoming Hive it is still there however but it's manageable and I have found a way to stay off medication because I don't believe in Western medication. Um, there's always some kind of implication or some kind of adverse effect. And if I can stay off medication, um, it's possible. That's kind of my goal and right now I'm not taking any kind of uh, medication anymore so my body has felt a lot better um, but let me explain to you the process and maybe I'm just gonna summarize a little bit about everything that I have done for the last several years and if you have watched my last two videos about hives um, you probably know that um, I started having hives since um, 2019, uh, summer 2019. So I've been managing it for uh, almost three years. And um, it's not completely going away though. But uh, I have figured out, I have done a lot of things the last several years. Um, in order to heal myself with Hive. So in the beginning, uh, the first one and a half or the first two years, I was taking antihistamine every single day to manage the itchiness. And um, after that, uh, in 20, summer 2021, I started doing fasting and also taking um, homeopathic medicine and that helps a lot. I also did acupuncture as well. So the combination of all that helped to um, manage my hive and I didn't take medication um, every day anymore, but I started to um, win off the medication like the antihistamine from every day to every other day then slowly every two days uh, and eventually once a week until last year until November last year so that was kind of like my journey and along the way I also um, do fasting regularly one day a week um, to kind of detox my body every week and that also helps as well with the hive um, as well as being a little mindful about what I eat not eating too much spicy food anymore and gum products uh, gums is pretty natural and it's not really bad but it can upset digestion and if you have bad digestive system it can also create allergy and um, 
upsetting the hives even more so I kind of slowly go off this kind of food and make sure that my food doesn't contain these ingredients um, like satin gum or guar gum or all that stuff and um, so until the uh, November, end of November last year I was still taking antihistamine uh, one day a week sometimes every eight days um, but most of the time is seven days a week that I take antihistamine so this is the thing last September um, September last year <sighs> there was a lot of things going on with me emotionally the started the half uh, the last half of the year uh, last year and in September um, there was a lot of dramas with my family my dad was really sick and um, he has a brain tumor and he has a stroke so um, he was admitted to the hospital because his half of his body was paralyzed um, and I was in Newfoundland at that time and my mom asked me to go back to Vietnam but at the time I was in the process of um, getting my citizenship so I didn't have the passport and I had to give up my uh, permanent resident card which means that I cannot leave <laughs> Uh, Canada because if I leave Canada I wouldn't be go back in so there was a lot of things going on at that time and I felt really stuck and it just really affect my emotional body um, and there's some other dramas that was going on during that time as well uh, a lot of drama with my family it, it wasn't a happy time for me and I think that being in Newfoundland that was like a little retreat for me to help me to kind of stay calm and central during that storm I think that um, there was Fiona storm <laughs> um, out in the physicality but like inside I, I felt like I also have to deal with the Fiona stuff inside of me because there was like so much going on um, and it was great I, I finally got the citizenship um, from Canada during that time but I didn't have the passport um, I could travel with my Vietnamese passport but then I won't be able to come back to Canada I don't have any document to come back to Canada so I couldn't and my dad was really sick and I was afraid I, uh, that something would happen to him and I wouldn't be able to see him um, if he passed away but thankfully he had his surgery and everything went really well um, by the end of the year and um, he was able to recover pretty nicely so I went ahead that was the reason why I went ahead uh, at the end of the year I went ahead to get the passport um, the Canadian passport just so if anything happened then I can um, I, I, I can get a flight ticket and go back to Vietnam during the emergency and then I realized that I couldn't just do that because of all the uh, the politics because I would have to apply for a visa to go back to Vietnam now <laughs> they, they don't um, accept they don't recognize the dual citizenship so if I have Canadian passport then I cannot use Vietnamese passport I have to get a visa to go back to Vietnam anyhow that was a really stressful time for me and I couldn't find anyone to look after Marco 
um, so I couldn't go by the end of the year last year and I was um, constantly um, stressed out dealing with the uh, the weather in um, the cold weather over here because I don't know if I should like, go back to Vietnam and then I have to go look for an apartment and then I have to find someone to look after Marco so <laughs> that was a really stressful time in um, uh, during the winter and I decided that um, I'm gonna need help um, and it, there was a lot of energetic um, events going on at that time as well and there was so much stress um, so much drama and my body was constantly tired like all the time like for the half the month of November and beginning of December my body was exhausted like I felt like the whole month I couldn't do anything I was so tired so um, I decided to do something and I uh, reached out to a hypnotherapist here in Halifax. As you know that I do everything pretty much holistic. I didn't want to take any medicine. The only medicine I take is for my hive. Um, the reason I reached out to her is because I wanted to kind of have some guidance and answers for everything that I that I was going through at the time um, with my family and my personal life um, so I the the type of hypnotherapy that I did was quantum hypnotherapy which is it's a bit different than the regular hypnotherapy which is just uh, um, Get in touch with your subconscious mind to change your thinking pattern. This is very different. Like, is um, she took me to. It's kind of like regression hypnotherapy, where you went back into your past life. Um, so your subconscious will choose the past life that is relevant for you. Um with everything that's going on in your life and the lessons that you need to learn from it so that you can release um, you you can release like all the burdens and like um, heavy energy that may affect you at this time and also to um, connect with the higher self um, to see what it has to say uh, with everything that um, going on in your life and guidance advice so that was the type of hypnotherapy that I was doing now I was just kind of researching and I was kind of curious I didn't know what it really was um, I just wanted to have some answers for my life and um, so I, I just went into the session without having any expectation. And so she asked me to think of the questions that I want to ask first. Um, the question that I want to ask my subconscious, the superconscious of my higher self, that's what I call. And um, you can ask pretty much anything. So you can choose different categories about your health, your relationships, your career, your life purpose. Um, so think about those questions so that you can ask your higher self so you can receive the guidance and what you should do with your life. Of course, not all the questions are going to be answered. But what is most relevant, like your subconscious or your superconscious, your higher self will kind of choose for you what is most relevant for you um, at this time. And so, um, I have heard about this type of hypnotherapy and I thought it was really interesting. And because of all the turmoil and the turbulence that I was going through, I was like, I need some answer, I need some help. 
And、um, for the categories about health, I did mention that I have hive,、um, and、um, that was the main issue that I have in also back pain. That I kind of wanted to know, like why I have back pains and why I have hive.、Um, and during the hypnosis, she guided me to a healing temple. Now. I'm only sharing my journey, like things that I experience. Like in this video, I'm not going to say that、um, I want to convince everyone to believe on this supernatural. But it did happen to me, and I'm so amazed by it.、Um, But I'm 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 not going to confess to everyone through my video that everything is real. Your mind is super powerful. Like you can create pretty much everything with your mind, and I truly believe that. No matter what you believe, I'm simply sharing my experience and.、Um, The effect that it has on me afterward is mind blowing. is phenomenal. is unbelievable. <laughs> Because through that session, my hives has reduced like eighty percent, probably like eighty percent. And now I'm just kind of like managing it、um, every day now, and that was. The reason hypnotherapy was the reason that I stay off medication completely now. Like for four months, I'm not like taking any medication. So I'm so amazed by this kind of treatment. I didn't have like all the answers for all the questions that I I I brought to the、um, the sessions, and I think that everything kind of happened. Um, do get the answers in your own time, and just by the healing that I received from that session, I think it is, was already so worth it. And like I realized that the the answers kind of like slowly came to me from different sources. Sometimes from downloads, sometimes from books or like、um, other. Relevant videos, and it it just came to me somehow.、Um, it wasn't through the hypnotherapy, but sometimes it's like it was in my dream, and sometimes in my meditation, and I started having downloads and visions about things. It was really really cool. It's so fascinating.、Um, if you don't believe it, then that's why、uh, I'm I'm sharing. My experience, and I'm just so amazed by it. So that's why I want to do this video. And if you consider、um, hypnotherapy, then I highly recommend trying it out and see what it can do for you.、Um, and I and and I did it only one session, <laughs> only one session, and my hive was. Healed, literally, like maybe not like a hundred percent, but eighty and ninety percent of it. And I will share with you later, like how I'm able to manage it without um、uh, without medication now. So yeah, um, the hypnotherapist she guided me to a healing temple, and it was. The image was like so clear in my mind, like I, I could still remember everything, and I was still aware、um, during the session. Like I wasn't completely like in trance or floating anywhere, but I could feel、um, a lot of energy that flowing into my body, and I see. Images in my mind. I I saw images, and it was 
very clear, very sharp, even though I was still aware. I don't know. You're like, you just kind of have to go and experience it like, to know what it really feels like. It's really cool and it's really interesting. It's kind of hard to explain. It's like you kind of half awake and half at the dream stage. For me, um, I, I don't think that I went really deep to the point that I didn't remember anything. I think that's what they call the uh, sonambulistic stage, which is the deepest stage of uh, hypnosis. I think I was kind of like above that. But even so, there was still a lot of healing already took place at that stage. Like when your mind kind of slowed down and you can still see images in your mind. Um, and it was very sharp, it was very clear, and it still feel like pretty real. And I, I saw myself being in, like, being healed by my guys, like, light beings. Um, I see them as light, and they started, like, doing a lot of healing on me, and I was sitting in, um, a crystal cave with a pool of water um and these things they was like walking energetically on my body maybe that's imagination i don't know but even so <laughs> it heals it doesn't matter is real or not what's more important is the result in the end and i was fascinated because i felt so much energy like i like kind of like tingling sensation like all over my body and a lot of heat like so much heat um it doesn't feel like when you do reiki it feels different it's not like that but it's like I feel like energy like around my body and a lot of heat around me. It was so fascinating. Um, these things that you can't explain. Scientifically, you can't explain. You can only go and experience it like to know what it feels like. That's why I'm so fascinated with energy healing and... Um, um, holistic healing in general because I'm, I'm just really interested in mystery and I'm just so curious like trying to find answers for everything and all these things I cannot find answers um, I have to go experience it like if science cannot <laughs> give me answers for everything I have to experience this and see whether it does anything and it did and the results were just so phenomenal like after that one session that day that day was actually the seventh day and I was supposed to take medication on the next day but I realized that oh my body is not itchy after I have the session so I didn't take medication, so I was like, hmm, let's see. Um, because I, I went to the healing temple like in during the hypnosis and I, I there was a lot of healing taking place. So I, I kind of wanted to see like if it affects, uh, it helps with my hive. And I didn't take medication after the session. And I was kind of amazed that the day after the med uh, the hypnosis sessions was the seventh day so i was supposed to take medication but i didn't so i wanted to to see how far i can go without medication because i didn't feel any itchy so there was no reason for me to take medication and the next day my body could still feel like that energy like kind of like tinkling um especially after when i do meditation and um my mind for several days i was still kind of like very slow and very f i i felt like i'm floating like i was still aware of everything 
for several days, but like I'm just so calm and just、um, my mood was just everything is slowed down, <laughs> and my mind is like flowing somewhere. It's not like I. I can't drive. It's it's not anything like like I I can still do everything like functionally, but my mind was just kind of like constantly like in a different dimension. <laughs> That's how I could describe it. And I received so many downloads、um, about my life, especially when I go into meditation. And I started to receive answers for、uh, things that I asked for, and even things that I didn't ask for. And I started to kind of get、um, things that kind of like started to make sense.、Um, things that I didn't quite understand about my life before, and now it started to make sense. So,、um, during that time, after a week, right?、Uh, after a week of this session,、um, during that time, I felt like I have a draw to singing bowl, and something like my intuition was telling me that I needed to listen to singing bowls, and I started to feel. Itchy, like after a week, I like my skin started to feel itchy again. Very little, it's not so much. That's why、um, it started like in the sole of my feet. I I could feel that it start it started to feel、uh, itchy under my skin. And then I had the feeling that I needed to meditate with singing bowl. So I used the Um, meditation app, the Inside Timer, and if you watch me for a long time, you know how much I love that app, the Inside Timer. I tell everyone about Inside Timer app, and I search for some of the track about singing bowl meditation. And when I started listen to it, that feeling of being in the hypnosis session like started to come up. Like I feel a lot of heat. And tingling sensations like all over my body, and then my itchiness started to go away, and it's like it feels like dissolve. It melts. It's like the the itchiness. Is, I don't know how to describe these things. Like it just melts, or it just dissolved, and I didn't feel itchy anymore. Like I. The effect is very much instant. It's faster than taking antihistamine. Like if I just listen to the singing bowl, my body, I I feel the energy in my body right away, and the itchiness goes away immediately. <laughs> it's it's so crazy. Like it's like. During that session, it's kind of unlocked something in me, and now I'm so sensitive with、uh, sound, especially with the、uh, singing bowl. And when I listen to it,、um, and that's the reason why I bought the bowl. I'm so obsessed with the singing bowl now. I don't know. Is、uh, the the phone may not pick up very well the sound of the singing bowl, but、um, that this is what has helped me to manage my hive every day now. So after the hypnotherapy, the hive started to come back,、um, but it's not as intense as before. Before I felt like. Extremely itchy, like I have to take medication、um, to let it go right、um, to uh, release, reduce the itchiness. But like as you know, if you take antihistamine, you still take like 
20 minutes or like half an hour for the drug to kick in but with the singing bowl um if i play it now i can uh, if i my skin feel itchy then um because of the sound i don't feel itchy so um sometimes i play with my bowl and some but every night i listen to the sing bowl for like about at the minimum 30 minutes like normally 45 minutes um that's what i normally do every single night um and i wouldn't have to maintain it like it can maintain my body for 24 hours like i at night i feel itchy like my skin starting to feel itchy again so whenever i feel itchy i just do the uh, meditation with simple and the itchiness goes away like for a whole day so i have to do this 24 hours um every day and in, if i skip a day i can start that i can start to feel that the itchiness is slowly increase and uh when it does i just uh play the ball or i if i don't have a lot of time then i just play the ball but i have to listen to it like at the average 45 minutes every day in order to maintain the itchiness of my hives but it's not like extremely itchy anymore sometimes i can still i can see redness in my neck or um or some other parts of my body uh, but it's not as intense as it used to be so that's how i am able to stay off medication and um there's just so many other benefits with um with the meditation with singing bowls anyway so i don't mind doing that every single day because it helps me um, someone playing firework outside Island holidays so yeah um i'm fascinated with it and i sign up for uh, a sound therapy course like after that hypnotherapy i started to love sound healing um especially with a singing bowl i just love the sound of it so much especially like with the one with the lower tone the lower and the um, stronger the resonant it is the better for your body and I can like uh, I can feel my body is more grounded I think it's probably the reason why I have high peak because uh, I'm not grounded enough strange right <laughs> because I'm always I'm in nature a lot um, so um there's several reasons for me to have hives and i think one of the reason is um th this is what i asked during the hypnosis as well and one of the reasons is because um uh i absorb too much energy like um too sensitive with energy in the surrounding and so i need to have like very careful energetic hygiene <laughs> that's I, I think that's the reason th that's the reason why i need the bowl just to clear my energy every day so now i have to do like um visualization every day to protect myself um from absorbing too much negative energy in my surrounding to reduce with the hives but the hypnosis has already helped me to clear out a lot of uh, negative energy and um i think some other reasons as well um there's several reasons with uh, that started the hive so um i i think it's different for everyone i don't know but for me it wasn't just about the food um i know a lot of people is uh, started to have high because of the allergy and because of the food 
um, it could be one of the reasons, but for me, it was like several different <laughs> reasons why I have Hive. And, um, and so, yeah, I, I want to share with you uh, my Hive healing journey. And if you like to check out quantum hypnotherapy, like I highly recommend it. And I think it's, it may be strange, it's very supernatural um but it works for me and um it reduced my hive significantly like on of out of all the methods that i have tried that one was that and the um cell healing <clears throat> it's probably the best therapy that i have tried um holistic therapy that i have tried to um help me with uh, the chronic hive <clears throat> okay so now back to my um family story <clears throat> i finally was able to find someone help me to look after marco if nothing goes wrong i'll be able to go back to vietnam it is like my biggest worry is this little guy um now he's the one that keep me here and not being able to go back to vietnam because my uh, my dad is so sick but now he's he's a lot better um but still i want to go back to visit my parents uh because they very old now and um i haven't seen them for five and a half years i've been in canada for five and a half years i haven't gone back to vietnam since so um i bought my flight ticket i recently just bought my flight ticket to go back to vietnam <laughs> and yes i just got the um the vietnamese visa yesterday so they approved um they approved me and it's pretty easy compared to getting like US visa or Canada visa It's a lot easier and you can apply it online um, it takes only several days and it's relatively cheap it's not too expensive but this online system is just so sketchy and it's it doesn't work very well <laughs> it's, it looks it looks horrible the website looks so horrible um but at least i was able to apply it online and i was able to get the visa it's basically just a paper to uh approve you to get to go back into the country in the beginning i was thinking that maybe i could use two passports and if i get to visa border uh the vietnam border then i could use my vietnamese passport but then when i look up deeper into the information it said that um you cannot use two passports so um i i don't know <laughs> it would be risky and i just didn't want to pay two thousand dollars for the flight ticket and then not being able to get into uh vietnam so and because it's a communist country so it's pretty corrupted as well and um i don't want to get in trouble with them <laughs> um so i have to get the visa it's not too expensive it's 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 only i think 25 dollars um might as well uh get the visa just to be safe and um and if I cannot use my Vietnamese passport, then I can just rely on my Canadian passport entirely. So, I'm going back to Vietnam end of this month. <laughs> After five and a half years. But it's going to be pretty short trip. Uh, I'll, I'll stay there for only two weeks. I didn't want to stay away from Marco for so long. And because my friend won't be able to look after him for a month, maybe that would be too much. But it's only take two days to go there and two days to go back. I have to go through four different stops 
Toronto, Vancouver, San Francisco, Japan, and finally get to Vietnam. That's his four chances that took two days to go back. <laughs> There's no direct flights going like from Halifax to there. It's, and it's too expensive flying from here. It's a lot cheaper to go from Vancouver, but I'm in Halifax, Nova Scotia now. So, and um, luckily I'm able to find someone that Marco is familiar with so he can stay with so it's not like too much uh, shocking for him because he really doesn't like stranger and and um, yeah I'm finally going back to Vietnam um, I don't expect it to be a really happy trip but because there's just so many dramas in my family but at least I get to see my dad and my mom because they're not very healthy. And I'll just make the best of it. Um, I miss the food for sure. So that is what I look forward to. Uh, to eat a lot of Vietnamese food. I don't eat as much pork anymore. So I try to stay away from that. But um, I still love Vietnamese food regardless and so I look forward to eat a lot of Vietnamese food I may gain weight when I'm there <laughs> and uh, get to see my dad and how he's doing um, after all that he went through and also my mom I actually had an argument with her uh, a little while ago so I think this trip is to um, pretty much amend our relationships and um, yeah we'll see how it goes I'll try to uh, record video when I'm there um, just so you get to know a little bit more about my personal life in Vietnam um, I barely talk about it I know like I I always keep my life very private and I prefer it to be that way um, but yeah we we'll see what will happen um, I'll try to record as much as I can and I'll share with it um, I'll share with you guys whenever I feel appropriate on YouTube and my journey and my story and how everything um, will play out in the future and sometimes the reason I feel skeptical share my stories is because sometimes I don't see things in the high high perspective and when I go on YouTube here I want to make sure that um, I emanate positive vibe only and not um, radiates like negativities out there because we don't need any more negativities on this planet uh, in this world so that's why i'm very careful about things that i share and things that i say on my youtube channel and i prefer to kind of have a whole picture of my life stories and how i'm able to convey on the lessons that i learn um, and share that with others so that you can apply it and um, to your life or have like a little bit of life reflection from my stories to your stories so um, that's what I at least that's what I like to do and and um, yeah we will see how everything will go so I try not to ramble as much Oh, and the last thing that I want to share is I've been exploring a little bit uh, of uh, different type of spirituality and um, healing therapy as well. And another therapy that I came across is color therapy. It's also called um, Aura Soma. It's not really cheap, but this bottle here um i've been having sore throat a little bit of sore throat and itchiness in my neck and it doesn't really relate to hive 
so I discovered color therapy and I decided I, I wanted to try it out. I've been doing a lot of explorations with different kind of healings for the last several months now because of it, it was just a lot going on in the end of uh, 2022 and um, that's why I, I stopped doing <laughs> recording video for quite a while too uh, because I, I I have to uh, take care of myself first so I apologize that my video has not been consistent because I still have to manage with myself and um, my healing journey and everything that's going on in with my life as well and the last several months I was doing a lot of explorations with uh, different kind of healing modalities as well and the more I learn the more I'm fascinated and just amazed with the world of spirituality this is like the next level for me like after Ricky this is the next level and uh, so this is like it's made out of like essential oil crystals um, herbs and you it, like the way that you work with it is it's also very spiritual and it's very intuitive as well because you have to like intuitively choose your color and somehow I choose this one it's just so beautiful and um I've been having issues with my throat so um there's a lot of meanings in the colors as well and they explain that to you in the um uh, in the session um and this color is for the throat it's like for the throat chakra like you would have to choose several bottles and then um, you narrow it down to one bottle and this one is the one that i feel drawn to the most uh just intuitively picking it and it works on my throat like i haven't feel itchy on my throat anymore and sometimes it helps with um a little bit of sore throat as well so ever since i applied this i'm glad that it helps with my throat because i started having um itchiness and sore throat like the day after um the equinox the the spring equinox there's just a lot of cosmic events and cosmic energy like bombarded like so many things going on and my body is like getting more and more <laughs> sensitive like every day i don't know if like other people out there feel it um especially my youtube viewers here i don't know if you guys can feel the energy but um some other people that i know friends um the people that are very spiritual they could feel a lot of like this cosmic energy as well and i can definitely feel it in my body sometimes it's more than usual so um that's what i've been practicing now with color therapy and sound therapy like to kind of manage myself and with some other things especially i still do reiki and i just obtained my master certificate uh, master level with reiki as well so i'm very happy to get to the next level with energy healing Okay, I'm gonna stop ramble so much. That's pretty much everything's going on in my life. Doing a lot of uh, exploration with spirituality, with heal different kind of healing modalities, and heal myself, heal my heart, being free of all kind of medication, and basically just maintain myself and um, my health to get better and better every day. Especially with my mood, with my emotion to make sure that I stay high vibe only and not getting absorbing too much negativities out there that's my goal and also I look forward to go back to Vietnam um, see my family and eat a lot of Vietnamese food <laughs> well that is up with me these days and I hope you're staying well enjoy the spring enjoy the flowers and the sunny days and I will catch you in the next video Bye. Hey guys, did you check out my book yet? It's now available on Amazon and Lulu. You can also find out more information on my website livingthroughalchemy.com. And if you enjoyed the book, 
please leave me a review. Thank you so much. Bye.